Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Agar Prajapati, and in this video, I will be telling you what are the roles and responsibilities of the data engineer. Okay, and specific to Azure Data Engineer. So, if you are a beginner and if you are giving an interview, you do, you do not know what you know or what our data engineer does or data engineer do then please watch this video till the end okay so i will not cut any part of this video i am just recording it live okay so chalo let's get started and before that if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe so that it will give me a confidence to create a video such like this okay so chalo so first of all let's see first thing i will cover about the uh, audience who are like having you know two to three years of experience in data engineering or who they are showing two to three years of experience in data engineering right so daily task is that first task is that if you already you know if you have uh, published your pipeline in the production right or if you move your code to the productions or data pipelines to production then first of all you have to uh, first check you know whether what went uh, what i mean uh, how the pipeline ran yesterday okay whether it ran successfully or whether it failed so if if it is failed then you have to fix that pipeline maybe you maybe you know we had written some uh, wrong logic or maybe you know wrong code see now there's a difference between lo wrong logic or wrong code wrong code means if we find out if we found some you know uh, syntax issue then it is the wrong code but sometimes what happens you know we miss some corner cases we miss some you know a uh, kind of logic right so for for that also we have to run, rerun the whole pipeline because if we if we not i mean if we did not write the correct code or correct logic right then maybe the data which we are showing uh, to the you know stakeholder this this might be wrong okay now how it wrong because see suppose i am saying i am giving i i am i am giving an insight or you know data uh, to amazon people right and i am telling ki you know how many product have been sold uh, to this particular country like that so if i made some uh, you know uh, uh, i mean if i if i made some error right in while writing the code or if i miss some corner cases this might be the case that i am showing they i am showing wrong information to them so because of the wrong information they might take some wrong decision and if i if they take the wrong decision then their business will go down may 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 go down or may go increase also but we should not do it right so this is the reason this is the reason we should have our data quality checks in between the pipelines in between the layers we should not just publish a kind of you know uh, anything in the production or any any anything to the databases or data warehouse or lake houses right so first we have to check whatever code we have written that is correct or not okay chalo so this is the first thing that data engineers first they check uh, uh, you know uh, the pipeline status whether it is running uh, fines or you know whether it is getting filled if it is getting filled, then we have to you know create a bug and then we have to you know fix it and then we have to redeploy it and then again we have to maintain it and we have to monitor it okay now second thing is development work so how we get the development work so we get the development work from the our POs, from the our stakeholders, or we can say product owners only, right? So product owner gave us some task and they made some you know user story, even though in DevOps, in Azure DevOps, or maybe in Jira or some other tools, right? And on basis of user stories, we have to create a task for that, right? Suppose I am saying ki, you know, hey, I mean, someone someone ask ask me or give me order that hey Saga, you have to create a pipeline which uh, you know which uh, take the data from uh, xyz web website and based on that you just take the data clean it and then you have to write some you know logic maybe you know we you we have to uh, you know show a revenue per country or per product like that and we have to dump the data into the published layer maybe it it, it could be a sql database or data warehouse or maybe power bi right so for that you know i will create a separate separate task Right, I will create like, you know, let's say five to six tasks. First task would be, you know, to analyze the data, right, or to, to analyze the, or to understand the requirement. Second task would be, what? Second task would be about the, you know, uh, mm, uh, to ingest the data from uh, source, right? 
third task would be to clean the data fourth task could be uh, you know to write a write a mart logic or business logic basically fifth law fifth task would be what fifth task would be to check the data to check the quality everything testing and all right and sixth card would could be or would be you know to deploy the resources from low environment to the high environment so that is basically a you know task which data engineer does and i am i am saying that this is comes under two to three experience guy right now as i told you in the previous video also some of the companies follow uh, you know end to end uh, work right end to end development work it means to from analyzing from analyzing to developing the code to deploy the code to deploy the power bi now if you are from that company now uh, now you have to decide what story you have to tell to your interviewer okay so see if you are confident in power bi if you confident in you know azure devops or you know devops thing right not basically to azure devops basically devops things right then you can say ki i only the person who does all this stuff then they might be in interested to ask some some questions related to the same skills like power bi or devops but if you are not confident then i would suggest not to tell just tell that you know i used to write a code in databricks or making a data pipelines like that okay in data pipeline in adf maybe i have used some logic app like that you can say okay now now i am talking about the those guys who are showing you know 4 to 6 or 4 to 7 years of experience in the azure data engineering specifically now their task you know uh, uh, i mean their most task is to understand the high level thing or you know to understand how how they can actually save the cost of the project right technical i mean uh, tools wise you know tools wise not the resource or we can say resource wise so see we i mean suppose i am saying that i know i just give you the example the previous example the amazon one right so amazon people came to me and they said ki hey saga you we we are we we, we wanted to create some uh, you know report where we will be showing a product by sales based on you know country or cities like that right so you know now i need to and you can say this is the fresh requirement right and i'm 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 very experienced guy like 4 to 7 to 8 years of experience guy so first i will prepare a flow chart or the diagram the architecture diagram how many sources do we have right then i will prepare those you know sources i will check whether whether you know i do i need to take data from this source or not whether is there any other way by which we can source the data we can fetch the data see i mean amazon will not i mean amazon does not store uh, the data only in one place there might be multiple places like you know now i'm telling you one thing one one scenario just got it so you can assume that uh, you know amazon is store the data in databases right you can assume data warehouse or databases now we can ask amazon team to provide a api rather than databases if they have the api then it will be easier for us to you know uh, do the work right we can write a python code to fetch the data using you know get method or like that right we can we can ask them in some of the cases this might be a case that the api will not work for us right then we will go with the databases directly right so we have to understand we have to tell them ki you know you just take bring that i mean you just give us the access on these these resources and we will we, and we will do the work second thing we have to and we have to give give them the proper road map proper road map or the estimation we could say okay we could say a proper estimation ki you know this this many hours will be will be you know will be used right will be needed to do this work as well as the architecture i said no ki uh, how many layers do we do we need how many tools and technology do we need do we need a logic app over there do we need a uh, adf over there do we need uh, you know a power shell over there do we need a power bi or not right because see every time it is not needed to use every technology now for a given example suppose if you want to send a emails if you send if you send a email emails to end users the same thing you can do via databricks via python smtp library right you do not need to have a logic app for that 
why i'm saying now you uh, now there there might be some guy who are very experienced and is watching the video he might say ki saga logic app is very cost efficient we can we can go with this that solution that's true but why to have a have a extra layer for that right see i mean in the companies in the it companies in the you know technical side it's the, the, it doesn't matter that you know if you are using uh, i mean if if a tool does not have a cost then it is it should be used right because for that you have to manage the repo one repo you have to manage maybe you have to manage the access and everything right so for that it will be some sometimes it will be very difficult to manage all these five to six resources and now and then later in the bigger stage right or in the later stages sometimes what happens then it it might be very complicated to handle uh, you know all these dependencies right so this is the reason why i should i will not prefer to use multiple technologies in the project now see uh, okay now you can and and if someone having 4 to 8 years of experience now then they have to also you know uh, uh, understand the business and give assigned work or you know assign work to to the junior uh, junior engineers also i mean in my previous company this these things were happening i am not sure whether in service based company or some other company whether these things are happening or not but ideally in the it company these things happening that having you know someone having holding a like 7 to 8 years of experience then he he or she may be a lead or a kind of manager and he, her or his responsibility to assign the work uh, work to to their junior right so this is that's that is what you know i mean data engineer data engineers do and and they and the four to eight years of experience people i mean in 90 percent cases or 80 percent cases they only represent everything to to their stakeholders right ideally you know i mean i mean I, ideally it is happening it depends on the company to company and culture to culture right i have taken an example of one organization my maybe this this information not be 100 percent correct right and apart from this you know and sometimes and this four to eight years experience guy you know should always be ready to you know optimize the code optimize the uh, architecture right now this this is a very important question one i mean this this question was asked in one of the recent interview that uh, what is i mean you know they just asking about the delta tables have you worked on that then i said yes i have worked on that then they ask me why why should we use a delta table is it necessary to use delta table see in every project it is it is not 100 percent correct that we should use delta table sometimes we should not use delta table we should use only a packet now if you know the concept about the delta table then you might give the answer because delta table have their own cost right and maintenance if you do not do maintenance then it will cost you a lot storage cost, cost will be more right so this is the you know the, these these all things uh, you know you should you should be taking care and you know and that and again the four to eight years of experience guys should always be ready to minimize the cost see when we create the when we start the project we might think ki we will go with this direction we will go with this flow later stage we might understand ki you know why are going this way we are getting too much cost right so how to reduce that maybe you know you have to reduce some layer you have, maybe you have to remove some layer maybe you have to uh, you know remove or you know maintain some uh, extra logging or some kind of you know optimize the code you have to review the prs for every one of every junior data engineers or data engineers right so all these things you should do this is your responsibility right so whenever someone asks me the question how did i mean what is your what challenges you have faced what you do so i just tell I just you know tell or told these these kind of stories to to the recruiters or you know to the interviewers and they were like kind of happy right because see everyone knows about he what is adf what is integration runtime and so so stuff but there are many you know there are many companies who want who wanted to understand about the about whether this person you know knows the detail of it or not see if you google it Hey, what is integration runtime? You will understand in just one minute or two minutes. Okay, 
but if you do not know the you know the concept right like if you do not know the etl concept if you do not know the elt concept then maybe if you go to that company they might not be using azure they might they might be using dbt they might be using airflow then sab khatam not like that if you know the concept then you can learn that step that technology that code easily right so this is the thing you know which you have to follow right when you when you giving a interview i hope that i have cleared you about everything i mean i i give you the you uh, know a proper answer if you think that you know this should be added then you can also add add in the comment box and please share this video you know to your friends who are preparing for interviews okay and uh, apart from this i would recommend i would suggest if you are watching this video till here then please check out my courses on my website called www.geekcoders.co.in there i have uploaded multiple courses which is totally based on the projects okay so if you are interested to build some real time look like project to go and check out those videos or the courses the course fees is very affordable if you are not able to afford that uh you know uh course or the fees then uh you know then maybe you can ask you can wait for some uh, event or maybe some wait for some you know a festival so that i will run a promo code for that but the course fee is very affordable at a price of one small pizza and plus one large pizza if you go to if you go and watch a movie in pvr if you can afford that that definitely you can afford my courses right so chalo thank you bye bye and a very good i mean best of luck to all the guys who are preparing for the interviews chalo bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture